What's up guys, it's Jack's Hexman and I'm here with another tech it tutorial. This time I'm showing you something I recently found out. Uh, well, okay, yeah, I'm actually showing you two things that I somewhat recently found out. First, I'm showing you how to get rubber. You make a tree tap with wood the way I showed. And with your tree tap, you will see these two trees right here have little, have extra leaves sticking out of the top long ways and if you'll see find if you see these these are rubber and it will give you an achievement called sticky situation and you will get rubber that will fly out of the tree and you can collect it so I have sticky resin now that is not actually rubber as you know because you've seen most likely seen rubber which is the black rubber thing and also I thought I saw rubber drop occasionally I think I think I've found occasionally rubber or sticky resin can drop from the leaves. Also you want to check all the way up the tree to make sure you're not missing any resin. And once you're done with one tree you can move on to the next. And if you if you some trees will not have any I I don't think I think some trees can spawn without any. Some trees will have multiple like the one with the first one and I don't think this one has any. So we sh I showed you one that had two and one that had zero. Also, these things will drop saplings. I don't know if this one has, but they look they have some orange on them. And what we're gonna do with our rubber is, or our sticky resin to make rubber, which we're gonna put in a furnace, and that will cook. And I'll just let it cook. I'll come back to it here in a second. Also, I'm gonna show you a cool thing I found out about pipes. If we go ahead and put ores in this chest and nor what I've found in the past is that when it, they pump it in there they would pump it into the wrong side but what I've what I'd heard is that if you put the pipe on top it will go into the correct slot up here instead of the wrong slot down here and we will see if that happens right now as our diamond door goes along the pipe we watch the furnace and we'll wait for it to appear for a second and yes it is correct so you so if you are pumping stuff into a into something other than a furnace, I mean other than a chest, so like a furnace or a macerator, you are going to want to pump it in through the top so that it will end up in the correct spot to be smelted. And now we will check back and see, see how our rubber is doing. I would assume it would be done by now. And it is. So now we have our four rubber. That's not enough to make much of anything, but now you know how to make it. And the, remember that the rubber trees are the ones with saplings, or not saplings, a bunch of leaves going straight up from the top, quite a few extras. And when also when you destroy rubber wood, you can see yellow particles, and that is what it looks like. Also, I just got some more resin from destroying a piece of the rubber wood. And what you you can only make rubber wood into three wooden planks instead of four. So that's a downside, but also but the upside is you get rubber, which is very good. Also, I will real quickly show you what a rubber sapling looks like, and it looks like this. That is a rubber tree sapling. And when you go ahead and plant this in the ground, it looks like that, and it will eventually grow as the same as the other saplings. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Oh, there's a natural one right there. I'm just going to go ahead and pick that up. Uh, and there you go. But anyway, uh, anyway, guys, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, you can watch more of my videos and like it if you'd like to. Uh, but anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you in a different video.